All right, guys, here's a quick tutorial on how to set up beat grids in Serato. So first thing you want to do is hop, go to the plugins tab, go to the bridge option right here, and make sure enable the bridge is checked off. To be able to get the bridge option, you're going to have to install Ableton Live. If you just installed the demo, this option should be able to be enabled and you should be good to go. So once you have this checked, go ahead and exit the setup, and then you'll want to analyze the songs that you want to beat grid. So for this example, I just analyzed this Miguel remix by Castle, and let's give it a quick listen. Alright. Now if you listen to it, the first beat doesn't start at the beginning of the song where this one is, where the beginning of the beat grid is. The beat's actually right around here, right? So what you want go to go ahead and do is click on Grid Edit, and you'll see the little green line here at the top, and you'll be able to move and adjust the beat grid. So you want to go ahead and hold down the Option key on a Mac, and click and hold down where the red line is right here, and you'll be able to move the beat grid. So go ahead and move it as close to the one where the first beat is as possible. Turn off Grid Edit. And what I like to do, just so I can check it real quick, Lay a cue point down and just let's give it a listen. So the beat grid looks pretty good. Looks like it's on point, but you can see there's like a little bit of gap right here. So if you want to make those adjustments, just go ahead and click on grid edit again. And once grid edit, is enabled, you can use the up and down arrows on your keyboard to adjust the beat grid and make sure it's right on time. So just go ahead and tuck that real close to that two. Now the beat grid's nice and tight. Ready to go. Let's give it one more listen. Yeah, that looks perfect. Alright guys, thanks for watching.